What is good friends? We are back with OUPL week 3. Easy versus HT. I don't know this guy at all. He got subbed in for Black Oblivion. But yeah, he brought an interesting team with a Mian Xiao. It looks like it looks like Aura is with a Greninja. I like besides the Mian Xiao, obviously, that is like outstanding. And the Nido King is also kinda you don't see that too often. But it's like you saw that sometime in Aura's. But yeah, let me look at Easy's team. Um, if that's Fistev Mew, the Nidoking King is gonna be really annoying. So like, he might have to pivot perfect around the Nidoking. King. Like, I mean, if Mew has Psychic or Knockoff, it can probably beat it only one. But it seems like a threat. But he leads up with Kill here. This it's probably Scarf, like, I don't see what else would be his speed control besides potential E-speed. They're going Feral's, uh, going Zapdos there. On a potential Power Whip or on a potential Hazard, cause, like, Feral's on lift any one hit from Kelio, from Scarf Kelio. And Latios is also a potential switch in. But... I probably would have gone Mew there if I want to cover the Latios too, but like Zapdos covered the power wave obviously in the hazard. But it doesn't really cover the Lati unless you want to roost on a Drago here. But you have to scout for the trick, so... The thing is, if you want to scout for the trick and you go Scissor and this is HP5, that's bad too, so it's kind of hard. I guess I would just roost here. Latios don't doesn't run HP fire at all this gen, but like Scissor is nice this game. So yeah, Mew is a mid ground play, I guess. Because Zapdos puts in work. Always defogging versus uh, Pharaoh. Probably walling Pharaoh on Mian Xiao, potentially walling Ladi if it's scarfed. Like Draco should do like 60 to uh, Zapdos, something along around that. So the next Drago might not kill at minus two after lefties. If the Zapdos is at full. And yeah, it can take a hit from Nido King and if it has HPIs, weaken that. Or like if the Nido King took some chip damage, the Zapdos can pick it off. So if it's not Rock I assume it's Rock's Clef. And this Muse probably like Will O Wisp, Softball. Then it's either like Psychic or Ice Beam. And then if it's like it could be SD scissor or Defox scissor, but if it's default mute, it could like if it's SD scissor, I think it's default mute. But if it's um Defox scissor, the mute could be. And the last thought it could have something like Volt Switch or Knock Off, but that crit is a bit annoying. We see it's Ash Greninja. It's probably gonna fish for the gold burn on the Latios or double out into something like Clefable. Doubles out into Clefable, which is a cool play catching the Laddie. Now you can either get up rocks or double out predicting the Neo King. But I think he's just gonna get up rocks. Oh, he doubles out into Mew, okay. Cool play, cool play. The thing is, there's a Greninja in the bag. But yeah, I guess if the Greninja comes in, it takes some burn damage. So in that sense, he makes some progress. If he predicts the Greninja here, but that crit on Kelly was annoying. The next time the Greninja is gonna come in, it's probably gonna click Hydro Pump. Because now Easy knows that it's Ash and like Clefable with his Dark Pulse, but gets blown away by Pump kinda. Because they run Fist of most of the time to check um, Zygarde. But like if his Mew Super Fist Devon has Ice Beam, the Clef could also be like mixed defensive, but I'm not sure about that. Dang, this team looks so weak to like Gengar switch ins wise, but like which team doesn't like which team has Gengar switch ins? Like if you don't have AV Torn or like Yeah, he goes for knockoff. That was definitely an option. Getting rid of the specs is pretty nice. So if this has spikes, I assume he's gonna go for spike because the Clefable is obvious and without the specs I'm I would assume that he cannot tweet KO the Clef. So yeah, I think he's gonna go for spikes or U-turn. 
whatever he has and if he doesn't have e neither like if he has neither if he only has if he has ice beam instead he's gonna double out into something that beats the clef which would be netto king netto king or um landris to get up hazards or to get up an sd Like if you go Landris, you have to predict correctly if you're HT, however you call this guy. Like if you go Landris and you get it in on the clef. Depending on your Landris set, like if you're SD. Like I could, I could see this being like SD Rocks Lando and then Spikes Pharaoh. But I can also see Double Lance Lando's Rocks Pharaoh. Because he has a. Like he has a Defogger, but he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything weak to have it, so I don't really know if this is necessarily Defog Lari. Like, it doesn't have to be. Um, it has to be. Mianxiao gets Stone Edge, so it might be Scarf Mianxiao. I think it gets Stone Edge. Let me check. Not that I, I don't want to say anything wrong. Yeah, he went into Zapdos. Which, after the specs gets knocked off, that also works. And it also would have rocked out in case he wants to dull into Nidoking, King, because this lifts the Ice Beam and can chip damage the Nidoking King to bring it in range. Maybe for Bullet Punch. Like, not 100% sure, but it's like, that's like an option. Like, maybe that's easy thought process, because like, if you go Clef, the Nidoking King is just super threatening. Unless he, unless he supers the Death on Mew. But yeah, he's not going to stay in with the Greninja here, obviously, so... Damn, he just went, just went for Discharge. I thought the play that was either Ruse or Double. Or like, if you really want to predict this, he could have HPIs. But he has HPIs, which... I think there's this offensive Zapdos with three attacks and Ruse, and then probably Defog Scissor, just like the standard team that Obi has. Or Obi made. Like, easy used Obi's RMT and OST some rounds, or like, often, pretty often. So it's either gonna go for Earth Power or for Flamethrower. Um. Hmm. I don't know, like if he's max attack, Bullet Punch might kill, but I don't think it will. But yeah, that's nice for easy that it doesn't have Flamethrower. Like if this had Flamethrower, it would've been... It would've just lost the Scissor. But now I can go Kelly or Zygarde. And this time he's pretty much... Mm -mm -mm. I think he's just gonna scald this time. Greninja can't really switch in. And on Darius you can potentially get a burn. And you, you can't just go Muak Fable here. Um, I would probably double scald here predicting HT to double switch. Cause you have like, you have like... So many switch-ins to Larios, like... I would make the aggressive play, play here for sure. I mean, it's like Risk versus Reward, but like if he doubles into Nidoking King here on the Clefable, you probably have to sack something. Like Zap, you have to sack Zapdos or Scissor if he doubles into Nidoking King here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I would have scored it there. But I guess he didn't go Nidoking, King, he went Feral Zone. So that kind of works out for easy. I guess HD met the middle ground play in case he wanted to double Scald. Like Feral Zone at least would have resisted the Scald. I mean, this is this is fine for easy, cause like this Greninja is not the threat. Like he can just go Clefable here. So we, I assume we're gonna see the Hydro Pump or the Double Switch into Nido King. I probably double into Nido King here. But yeah, this is a bit annoying for easy. He prepped for Black Oblivion. I don't know if this is the team that he prepped for Black Oblivion, but yeah, it's. I feel like it's probably super annoying if you prep for one specific guy and then you, you get subbed out last minute and then you just play the other guy a few minutes after like I mean it's not deadline today but they, just, they decided to play like super soon deadline is like tomorrow late like midnight uh, EST time decides to go Zygarde so it takes that pretty well not sure if it's HP invested Zygarde I don't want to really run a call because that just makes me miss a turn. But he doubles out breaking the Landers, which was a cool play. 
And yeah, he's like pretty free to quick scald again, because like I said, he has all the switchings in the world to Latios. And he makes a really great play there, breaking the Ferrothorn. The crit is a bit unfortunate. So you see, it's probably trouble. No, it's not trouble, Ferrothorn. What am I saying? No idea what Ferrothorn is. It's probably either Rocky Helmet or some random item, Quick Claw. <laughs> That's some low light item. It's not Quick Claw. There's no way. I'm just joking. But yes, Landorus can potentially get up rocks if it has them. So that kind of confirms that it spikes Ferrothorn. This HPS is pretty obvious here, so... Uh, you can roost. Break the the Landorus switch. Mm -mm. This kind of tough. Like, he can also earthquake predicting the roost, but... I don't think he would. Okay, it's Yachi Berry. Man, dang, that sucks. If Easy would have roosted there, his Zapdos would have been back in business. But yeah, how... That did 36, so it wouldn't have killed even without Yachi. But yeah, Scissor can, Scissor can come in and roost, or... um. Yeah, Kelly also works. I wasn't finished. Like, I was trying to see what, what options he has. I didn't finish my thought process there. But yeah, the, he um ca caught the Ferrothorn earlier with a pretty nice play. Secret Sword. So that's pretty much enables him to spam Skull now. Ah, wow, I wouldn't have predicted the Ferrothorn. That was pretty gold. Finally, I got the burn on the Lottie, which is pretty cool for him. And we see the Roost Lottie, which kind of confirms that it's not Scarf Lottie, and that, like I said earlier, probably Scarf Me and Show. So knocking off there makes me think Mew doesn't have Defog, and Scizor has Defog like an Obi's team, like I said. Like, that's pretty common, the, like a team that has potential multiple, like, three potential defoggers or two, and then Scissor is always the defogger, because Scissor is pretty reliable. Defogs on Landers pretty much all the time, unless it's like some super offensive Landers. So there's like a little clutch on 1%, and he might predict the Landers here on the on the E-Speed, because Landers might avoid a 2-hit KO from E-Speed. And you could go for 1000 arrows predicting a switch. But he doesn't really have to predict. He can e speed. I think it's fine if he just e speeds. It is fine. Like it's not the end of the world for easy. And if he sex desired, like this is a free U turn. Switching out here doesn't help you at all. You just have to sack this. Exactly. Okay, this doesn't have U turn. Oh, he just doesn't have an earthquake immunity. So earthquake was fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So this guy HD is gonna sack off his Landris now because he already got up his rocks. And I don't think he I mean yes, yeah, Scissor can come in here and try to defog. But like if I mean if Easy goes kill you mm, Yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind. Yeah, he can still keep his Landris around. Depending depending on what Easy does here. You obviously wanna keep your rock around if the defog is not that, but like you only set up rocks on Clefable. Potentially on, I think Mew shot Taunt, so it was like, this is like the Aurus set. He shot Taunt, Knock off Wisp, and it's probably softballed. So I didn't expect that set at all. I thought he at least had something like Psychic or Ice Beam. Like at least something different. But so maybe predicted that his opponent to bring some sort of fat team. Like I said, not sure if this is the team that he prepped for Black Oblivion. But yeah, he decided to go Kelio and... The Darius is pretty free here, so you can keep this as an extra fodder. So I might have doubled there if I was easy, but I can understand why I didn't do it. Yeah, of course my man sorry has to come in here and talk some shit. Like, shut up dude. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, that's kinda tough. Cause like if he doubles the Nidoking King here and catches the Clefable, um, I think he's gonna go Clefable. 
Because you don't want to go Mew, because then you take Hazards, and Clefable has the nice ability called Magic Guard. I know why my man Easy just, uh, my man T just came in, and he's talking in the lobby instead of in this battle. Of course, Padlop has to come in. Padlop lost in S2 as le earlier, his opponent choked and hacked. That was pretty disappointing. So Padlop has like not the best chances to make playoffs now. But he still made the Mew play. Because Mew doesn't completely lose to Nidoking if he doubles into Nidoking, so I can get behind that. And he's just gonna go for a knockoff over Lewis. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's fine. Another knockoff picks up the Landers, and this way he gets another round of leftovers. So after this Landris dies, like I don't think he's gonna switch here. What he he really switched into Mianxia losing his scarf. Um How much base speed does Mianxia have? I mean I I get it that he wants to keep an extra sack. And yeah, okay, so this guy's like if he has a scarf Kelly, my uh, scarf is slower, so there's like not really a point in keeping the scarf, so I'll just throw this in and get some chip damage on this. Hmm. But yeah, if he softballed there, he could have kept his Mew super healthy. But HD basically gets some more chip damage on the Mew this way. And yeah, I double into Nido King here every day of the week. Like, okay, okay, that works. Like, Nido King would have killed the. I thought the Clefable was obvious there. Like, I don't understand why you. The Clefable was so obvious there. Like, I don't think Greninja 2 kills Clefable. The, the specs was knocked off. Like, what? Like, I understand that you want to sack your scissor and you still have this to wrench it, but giving this the ashram is potential, potentially really annoying for easy. Um, the doubles are breaking the Latios, so now he has to make plays. Like, I'm not sure if I would have sacked the scissor. Like, if you go Clefable, yes, you're forced to softbolt on the Hydro Pump, but... At least you don't give him the Ash form. But yeah, if you go Clefable and you softball, then the Nidoking King came in. But the thing is, the Nidoking King also probably lifts a Moon Blast from 27, so it can kind of still come in here. Let me actually close my Discord, I'm not sure. I haven't used OBS in a while, I don't know. Like, my computer is pretty bad, I don't know how much it can handle. I'd rather not have many programs open. Uh. Yeah, I don't know how he's gonna prevent the Nido King from getting a kill. If Moonblast doesn't kill the Nido King, that is. Like, the Skull Fable didn't reveal anything yet. Did Easy even get up rocks this game? No, only the opposing Lando got up rocks. So that's Rocks Clef, I assume. Yeah, he doubled into Mew Brick in the Nido King. I don't even know if they would have beaten the Nido King or what he predicted there exactly. That's kind of weird, but yeah, I think this is pretty rough. Like, I don't think Easy can win now. Like, he has to softball here, and um, he can stay in here, break the Greninja to go for Dark Pull, uh, for to hi for Hydro Pump, because like a Fable is there in the back. And in case he doubles, like he can double into Nidoking King trying to catch the Clefable, which is like unnecessary. He doesn't have to make that play, but he could. So maybe Easy can bank on the choke and like catch the Nidoking King on the double, or in Easy can also um. Nah, I think you just have dark pulse here if you're the HT guy. Uh... Even though like, just in general, hydro pump damage on this should bring in range from Nidoking, King, so that's fine too. That only has the drawback that hydro pump can miss, but. So he did predict some sort of switch there, or I don't know what he predicted. Or he knew he could lift that, but now his Kelly does to rocks. So... Yeah, I don't know why, why he's doubling out, because his Kelly does to rocks. I mean, I get it, but like... Unless he has Divog on Mew, then I understand why he doubled out the Kelly. Like, I get that he wants to keep it, but... I don't think it does anything for him. So this is probably Soul Duladi, not really sure. It's not life orb. Um, oh, it could be Z move. 
I forgot we are in Gen 7 because I was watching um, Gen 6 earlier. Mm -mm -mm. What is this? What is the Z-Move Mon? Oh, Easy's team doesn't have a Z-Move Mon, I just realized. Yeah, that's a Z-Move on the Lali. Shout out Psyche. Psyche, however you pronounce that. Yeah, that was really cool going to Mew there. So it's probably gonna softball up. So Minjil is just gonna knock off a user. Like, knock off to get rid of the of the lefties. Exactly, gets rid of the lefties on a clef. Uh, this could technically have... No, no, the left move has probably Stone Edge and High Jump Kick. I was about to say this could have Poison Jab, but... You have to run Stone Edge in this meta. Like, I can see this team. This is not super weak to Vault, because you have... You can get Rocks up, you can... Uh, you have Water Shuriken, and this is a Scarf out that outspeeds it and has Stone Edge. But, like, Mija was interesting, but that's not something I would use. Unless I'm, like, recording a Heater for Heater Live. Heat type of Live. But yeah, you finally got in the Nido King for free. Like, he took Rocks damage, so it was not completely free, but, like... He basically fought at the sack there. Forced the sack there. God. English. So yeah, the Mew is gonna go for a knockoff here, which should pick off the Nido King. Actually, no, 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 no. If you HD, you wanna save the Nido King, because the Cliff Fable, the Cliff Fable beats can, the Cliff Fable kind of beats the rest of his team. So he wants to save the Nido King. Yeah, it goes into Mianxiao. Uh, I can completely understand saving the Nido King there. Like, how else does he beat the Clef? He knocked up to the lefties, but still, Clef can be super... Clef can be super annoying for him. If you don't see, Nidoking King comes in again, but he knocks off... Now, now Nidoking King can't come in directly, because... After Rocks, Moonblast kills for sure, I think. It should do 15%. Like, I can call Clefable. Clefable was Nidoking King, Moonblast is 20 to 24. I think that's defensive clef. Just uh, let me just make sure that I'm not calling offensive clef. Yeah, defensive clef is 20 24. So this dies 100% unless he's running some super weird HP invested spread. Um, the only purpose of Mian Chao is like getting rid of the lefties on Mew. I don't think he got rid of them yet. So he can technically sack the Mian Chao and then get a kill with Nero King. Uh, if, if Nero King 2 kills the Mew. But, like, it depends on the Mew set. Like, I can, like, type in the calc for you. Like, I'm just gonna type in the standard Stallbreaker. That is, um... Okay, he only has 120 in speed dev. But yeah, the standard Stallbreaker versus a Nido King. This is a Timon Nido King. So after rocks, let's say rocks are up. <laughs> he said, fuck cancel button, please. He U-turned out and he just softballed. But yeah, I wanted to do the cult for you guys real quick with rocks up. Where do I click rocks? Oh, here. Um, it has a 70.3% chance to tweet kill the Mew. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you use that standard Mew set from ROS, he still has a chance to switch the Mew hard into the Nidoking King and avoid a tweet kill, but like. <laughs> this is tough or easy, but he can somehow bring it back if he plays it well. Uh, like, if Nido King ever comes in on Clefable, it's just gonna be super rough. He has to get, like, minerals to live with his Mew. Uh, so the Ladi did 17 with Psychic, so we can kill... Uh, we can Kalk here. The Ladi's not live orb, it's just... Let's just put some random item. So Psychic... God. Of course the calculator has Psyshock. Psychic does uh, 16 to 19 to the standard Mew spread. And it's 17, so I think it is the standard Mew spread potentially. Or some, some, somewhere near that. Like maybe he has a few if he's different, but he should be. Like he has some spread death on his Mew probably from that damage, is what I can tell you. Okay, so the lot of defog after it got, then it got taunted, but obviously you couldn't prevent the defog because it's slower. That was just so he cannot roost. But yeah, now we got the Nido King in on a U-turn, and now it's um. Now we will see if the Mew can avoid a two-hit KO, because I think that's his only play going hard, Mew, because he has to keep the clef. And yeah, the Mew can avoid a two-hit KO. So since he got yeah, yeah, so, right, 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 he got rid of the rocks by defogging. Wait, why did he defog? I'm kind of confused. 
Oh, we had rocks on both sides. For a second, I thought he just defogged his own rocks away. Um, so I, I can understand by default because his Nidoking King only had like um, his Nidoking King could only come th in three more times on rocks if he didn't defog. Mm -mm. I could see the Greninja here breaking the Willow Wisp. Um, I could see Easy going for softball and knock off. Goes for softball. So does Lai can go for recover. Um, or Draco. I assume we're gonna see a knock off here. Or Taunt. He goes for Willow Wisp, predicting a double into. I don't understand Willow Wisp there. Because, like. You either roost. Like, what was he predicting? Like, was he predicting me and Chao or Nidoking King there? Like, not 100% sure why he will always. Like, I was. I thought he would either roost there, or attack, or double into Greninja. It was kind of weird. But he will have his reasoning. I'll ask him later or something. Mm. Yeah, this is a tough spot for Easy. Because if he, like. Like, he's kind of. Weakening the Mew, so he has to use more softballs, and if he runs out of softball, Like, if he ever lets this Mew get... Like, let's say, to like 70%, or like... How much did the Sludge Ray from Nidoking King do? To Mew... Nidoking King used... It did... Um... It did 46, so yeah, if he ever lets this... Get to like 80% or like 84%. He can't really switch and save. But yeah, now the Nidoking King comes in again. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, he got the he got the Mian Shadow with the Willow Wisp. That was a really cool play, Willow Wisping again. So I can I can see his play now that he tried that the turn earlier too to catch the Mian Shadow. But yeah, he should be able to live a Twit Kill unless he gets crit. He should be able to avoid the Twit Kill. Unless he gets crit is what I meant to say, but yeah, now he's in a really bad position because even if he's faster... He's probably not faster. The thing is, um, this was really tough to win for easy, no matter what. Because he was on the defensive with his Mew, he had to like spam softball, he only had 10 left, like eventually he would get crit by his Nidoking. King. And like, if you, if you don't get crit eventually, you will just get stalled out, like the Lali keeps attacking you, the Minchia keeps you turning around. Um... I think it it might not it might not have changed the outcome of the game, but it definitely sped up the process and yeah, I still feel kinda bad that he lost that way, because that always sucks and He obviously still had some like a little small chance to win that. Like Clefable basically won if Nero King died. So like it was a 4-0, but it was pretty much like it was closer than it looks on paper. And I'll go here and look at the thread real quick. Let me see, let me see. Stop saying you have one new alert smoke on your annoying arm. So yeah, he was playing Black Oblivion um, intentionally, if that's correct English. So yeah, Black Oblivion got subbed out for that other guy. So easy lost this game. I will upload this one early, I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, if you didn't see the video. So the score should be... So it's 2-1 for BBC Kings. Um, it's 3-1 for BBC Kings now. And if Darius won his game, it's 4-1. But I think... Um, I don't know, yeah. yeah, if he lost, it's 3-2. and two. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil out that game, like I said. I already watched it and recorded it. So it's either 4-1 or 3-2. And no matter what... Um, and his team can still make it a 4 and a 4-4. Four, four. Pretty sure that Ricardo will be motivated to win versus his friend Top D Boy. I don't even know um, when that is when that game is happening. That game is kind of hype, but this this game is also hype. Like both of these games, Gypsy versus uh, Alex and Top D Boy versus Ricardo are hyped. And yeah, obviously still like um, to watch this game too. I'm still a fan of that. Like Salmon Oyu in general. Um, and yeah, I'll try to like work on my analysis and stuff. This game was okay, this game was okay, but earlier I made a narration that was pretty awful. Um, but yeah, it happens sometimes, especially when I record multiple videos in a row and cannot concentrate anymore and I should like know when I should stop. 
Um, thank you guys for watching. World Cup, I think signups are like in a few days or in a few weeks. Like one or two weeks. Not really sure when the exact date is, but yeah, I want to bring you guys a lot of World Cup coverage. So, hope I won't fuck, my, fuck up my analysis during World Cup games. I'll, I'll get some friends that have, um, that, that know what they're talking about in a sentiment OU. I'll try to leave out people that just say random weird stuff, but we'll see. Like, I know that some of the guys are like entertaining, but sometimes they say <laughs> weird stuff. Like, like Padlop, he's not bad at all, but like out of nowhere, he says like some random weird set or he doesn't realize a mon is like the set. But I do that too, so I shouldn't talk at all. Yeah, okay, I shouldn't have said that last part anyway. That was a bad example. I didn't mean to call out Padlop. I should have named someone else. Pedal is a goat. Um, he still has, I think he has a slight chance to make playoffs in S tours. But yeah, he got uh, lucked out round one after the opponent choke, which sucks. Like, Black and White isn't really his tier, and like, he didn't play that bad, I think. I watched the game. Yeah, I think the, the other games uh, for OEPL are all happening tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. What else do I have? I have one more circle joke game recorded, which was Corey's game, but my computer was kind of laggy and I also was like 10 turns too late or 8 turns, a few turns too late. And it was going on pretty fast. Not the best narration in my opinion. Uh, what other game did I have? Yeah, my, my man BTB will be back next week. Um, we got another um, circle joke game of his recorded for you guys, a replay, because he knows exactly what he was thinking when he played the game even though it's like a month ago so he doesn't remember everything perfectly but he can analyze that decently well and thank you guys for watching Doc signing out peace